uh, people question the fact of you being a Muslim, uh, and then being, yeah, being yeah, one that's related to Pyru issue, the oldest yeah, Pyru it yeah. ever made. It, it was supposed to be this guy, uh, Terrence, uh, yeah, uh, Pat, yeah. Uh, uh, Prankster Williams. Okay. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk. Shahid, you keep Muhammad is is dear to you because you always say you was on detail for him. Um, one of the greatest mans on the West I wanna, Coast. I, I want to hear a little bit because we you always mention him, but we never go into detail on who he is. I, I went back and looked at my you know my 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 interviews. You know what I mean. And you always say he had your own detail here or you was doing this and you, all, you know, just pretty much just, you know, doing what you had to do when you was doing it with him. Like, who is he and, and what does he represent in L.A. or did he represent in L.A.? Because he passed, right? Yeah. OK. Yeah. He's still representing L.A. OK. Well, he's still representing, representing LA. Man, uh, giants don't die. They multiply. OK. You know, Shahid Muhammad is West Coast. He's a uh, uh, was the West Coast captain for a Moss 54, Compton, California, uh, an original out of LA, original uh, businessman, old gangbanger businessman, went to the Black Panthers, um, was in 80 countries with Minister Farrakhan on the E-team, loved the Nation of Islam more than life itself, and brought, uh, always was the pinnacle was the, of the excellent. Uh, this man here, 90% of the nation that's, that's up today it come through under Shahid Muhammad's tutelage. You know, uh, had um, Lennox Lewis, Mike Tyson, put us on Bobby Brown, Whitney Houston detail. Um, uh, um, um, Aaliyah's uncle, Barry Hankerson, had me on Barry Hankerson detail. Eraser with uh, uh, Vanessa Williams. Uh, Rosewood with uh, John Singleton. I mean, uh, for a dude out of Compton, just come about the penitentiary. You know, I had some of the greatest details and been around the world with this dude. Wow, you know, that's, that's crazy. How did he end up? You said something. You said you said gang bang, but also um, he was uh, he was a Muslim, right? Mm -hmm. What? Because you had I know I was out of town and it came up and I called about it. Uh, people question the fact of you being a Muslim, uh, again being uh, being yeah, one that's related to Pyru issue, the oldest yeah, Pyru it yeah, ever made. It, it was supposed to be this guy, uh, Terrence, uh, yeah, Pan yeah. Uh, uh, Prankster Williams. Okay, yeah. Uh, this, uh, so, so what? What? I, I didn't get to ask you about that, but just like. Is there, I don't know how you would break that down or break that out. I mean, it's out. easy to break it down because it's, it, you, in, in America, it's separation of states. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you, we don't question gang members that say they're Christians. You got gang crips that go to T.D. Jake's church, go to uh, 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 Jones, Noel Jones Church. It's just like you go to church, right? And you got massive murders that go to church. I'm not making the comparison, but in the nation of Islam, that's my religion. That's what I do. That's my way of life. Pyru is a business. I don't believe in my life that I'm going to Pyru heaven. There ain't no shit like that. Mm -hmm. I got it. I didn't. I will never get jumped in a gang. And I, hey, if you hit me, we're enemies. I don't have, for me and my friends grew up together, we fight other people, we don't fight each other. And if it was something for me to do, to be around with you, we either go get at the police, kill white boys, that's what we did in prison. They didn't turn gang members, like you just mentioned your boy OG Percy and this other guy, uh, what's his name, DuPont, uh, what's the other one's name? Uh, it's OG Percy, another one hang out with Charlie. Dewberry. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I, it's, it's such a transition in the South in California. California, we got more. The only other prison that have more prison killings than California is New York, and that was Attica, and they killed sixty police in nineteen seventy mm. in the Attica. Ain't nobody get as busy killing police in California. You, just, you southern boys, y'all kill each other, talking about, I'll beat this. But you ain't never talked about killing a police or beating up a white boy or a Mexican. I hear him bring, you got this other old man, 
older than, I don't even think he older than me, but he looked bad. Felice Johnson, the booty bandit, the booty warrior. And he's on bragging and you get on these podcasts and you degrade us in prison system that we don't stand for shit. You know what I'm saying? In California, we made a president all over the world. Somebody do something to a black, six of them gotta die. We didn't go around. I mean, we ravaged each other. Some people did, but it wasn't wholesale. You feel what I'm saying? So we have a whole different politics in us, a value system in California. It's everybody against black. We don't even have time to have Crips and Blood, Piru situations in prison because everybody against us. You dig what I'm saying? They, now they're into it, but blacks don't run the prison system in California anymore. The Mexicans do. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They say whoever control the ghetto, whoever control prison control the ghetto. The Mexicans control the prison, they control the ghetto. I look at the interviews that these dudes are doing and talking about how they DP'd and they transformed another block. <laughs> but you ain't never made one podcast that you did an IB, an initiation of blood, against one of them Proud Boys or Ku Klux Klan or slap the warden in the mouth. I come from Trojans. Death Row Jeff, uh, Matt Dillon, uh, 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 Modicia, all of these dudes had a uh, 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 motor mouth, Buford Beard, all of these dudes had six or seven institution murders, killing white boys and Mexicans, not their own. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And they didn't just send me to do it, they did it first. I remember my first IB. I caught a case in YTS, a little bit, and they sent me to San Quentin from Youth Authority. And it was my assignment to go take this dude out in his cell, right? me and another guy. As I go in the cell, but when I go to breakfast that morning, they have my favorite food, scrambled eggs and, and, and a big old breakfast roll. I'm eating, I'm young, naive, I'm eating. We, child time comes, I, we go up in this dude's cell. Now you got three minutes and 47 seconds to do what you gotta do because the gunman is on that back bar. When he comes up, and the, if he don't get you in the, the man locks the gate, he's gonna lock you in the cell with a dead man. So I go in there and I'm thinking that this is just blase. I didn't know how people fight for their life. They didn't, you just ain't gonna kill a man. You know, sometimes y'all shoot and find out you caught a murder in the police station. Mm. But to walk up personal and look at a man in the eye and stab at him, oh, it's a whole different dynamic <laughs> to doing that because he ain't gonna just let you kill him. Mm -hmm. This Mexican grabbed me and held on to me in that five by nine cell and my partner was stabbing him and I started panicking and I'm trying to jerk away from this Mexican and blood is everywhere and I'm getting scared because I am scary. <laughs> and the next thing you know, I shit on myself. No. Damn. Had to get out because I, I learned then. Before I do anything, don't eat before you do it. <laughs> <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So you see, that one didn't go too well. Huh? No. I would have thought if somebody um, at they'd throw up more than doing that. So I would, know what I, stage what, is in, right? Depends on how the pressure <laughs> is. The pressure go to your stomach. You understand me? If, if And if you drink too much, you'll piss on yourself. Mm -hmm. You hear some dude got socked and they pee right on their chest. When I hit this boy, he pissed on himself. Man, <laughs> you Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.